Hey guys, welcome to your uh, You versus All 12 Signs reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So first we're going to take a look and see uh, what you guys need to know for July and then we'll finish off the read with You versus All 12 Signs. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, I do post readings on there too, okay? So, tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for July 2023? What does Pisces need to know for July 2023? What does Pisces need to know for July 2023? Tell me about Pisces here. What does Pisces need to know for July 2023 for Pisces? King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces here, and the Devil here. Okay. Capricorn energy with that Devil card. I don't know. It could be a situation that someone here is obsessed with you or that you're obsessing over somebody here. Or that with the Devil card here, this could be a situation that you're elbow deep and knee deep in work here. But, you know, this could be that you're obsessing over something or something or someone is obsessing over you. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. This is so interesting. We have the Magician, Gemini Virgo here. I don't know. I mean, this could be an indication that someone here is doing spell work on you, doing black magic. Someone here is, you know, manipulating energy in and around you here. Uh, whoever this is, this is an individual that might be trying to stifle your process or progress here in life okay um let's see what else we have here whoever this is this is an individual that's very manipulative and very controlling here i do feel like if this is really happening here to, for, to you pisces i feel like it's really important for you to shield yourself here okay shield yourself protect yourself with crystals meditate um cut cords here work with the energy workers such as a shaman or um a Reiki healer. We have the Ace of Wands here. Okay. Five of Swords. You know, I, I do feel like with the Five of Swords here, you know, I do feel like you're putting yourself here first. You know, with the Ace of Wands, there could be a new beginning that's happening here. Okay. Uh, perhaps you're starting something new here that you're really passionate about here. Yeah, but with the Seven of Wands, yeah, you're creating some sort of firm boundaries here with energies. Uh, perhaps you're very sensitive to energies here, okay? Uh, perhaps, you know, maybe there could be a situation that, you know, dark energies are coming in or being invited in, and I feel like they, this, this needs to be cleared out, okay? The King of Cups here and the Two of Wands, the, the uh, um, Three of Swords and the Devil here. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like you're traveling to other realms here, Pisces. And I feel like what's happening here, not only are you traveling to other realms, but I feel like you're picking up pain and suffering from other people in and around you here. I do feel like you're very sensitive and uh, keep in mind, Pisces are a very psychic sign. Yeah, very intuitive. So I feel like you're picking up a lot of energies here, a lot of energies here. So this is what is called an ungrounded psychic medium here. And I feel like someone here needs to actively work on themselves or work on shielding and protecting themselves. And also work, if you do this type of work, it's important for you guys once you're done with the work is to close up your chakras, especially your third eye and your crown here. Because I'm getting that someone here is incredibly open here. The magician here and the ten of cups. Send the wands here and the lovers here. This could also be an indication that you're manifesting new love. And I feel like the love that 
or the person that you're manifesting here could be coming into your life soon, okay? We have the lovers here, Gemini energy and the Ten of Cups. This is a person that is your soulmate. And I feel like this is a, this is someone that you could be really protective of or that this person could be really protective of you. The Ace of Wands here and the Death card here, Scorpio energy here, the Five of Swords here, and the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, okay? Seems like you're putting yourself first. I, I also get the sense that you're going through a huge shift or a change or, or a transformation here too. Perhaps a spiritual transformation, okay? So lots going on here, all right? So tell me about Pisces. Pisces versus all tall signs here from Aries to Pisces. Pisces versus all tall signs here from Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Pisces versus all tall signs. Pisces versus all tall signs here. This is so interesting, Pisces, because I feel like this, this came up in another reading that I did recently. Yeah. All right. Aries versus... No, Pisces versus all tall signs, Aries to Pisces. Pisces versus an Aries here. Six of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. Um, whoever this is, this is an individual that might be breadcrumbing you here, okay? So just be careful with this individual because I feel like this person, it, it, there's no equal give and take with this person. And I do feel like this person is unemotionally not really invested here. Okay, so um, can uh, no Pisces versus a uh, Taurus here. We have the Ace of Swords here and the Emperor here, Aries energy. Okay, why am I reading the, out the signs here? You're dealing with a Taurus, maybe this Taurus has Aries in their chart. Okay, uh, but whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual but that's being very truthful and honest here with you about their feelings and also their intentions here towards you. Okay, um. Pisces versus uh, Gemini here, King of Swords here, and the King of Pentacles here. Um, I'm not quite sure what this person want, I, I wants. I, I just feel like this person's really ice cold, to be quite honest here. Yeah, um, you know, I, I feel like this person does talk, uh, but I feel like this person doesn't really go deep. Uh, they're very surfacey. okay? Uh, Pisces versus a Cancer here with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that wants to move towards a commitment here with you with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands here, okay? Uh, I do feel like whatever is going on here, I do feel like this is taking off pretty quickly here. Um, also, if you're in the business partnership with this individual here, I do feel like things are taking off pretty quickly here too. Uh, Pisces versus a Leo here. We have the Chariot here and the death card here. So what's happening? I do, I do feel like this person wants to move forward with changes here between you and them, okay? So I feel like it's almost like taking action in uh, improving uh, the quality of your relationship here between you and this person. Uh, Pisces versus a Virgo here. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Queen of Swords. Um, this person's definitely going through a lot of stress and anxiety and depression here. And I feel like you are intuitively picking that up, but I feel like this person's not sharing what's going on here, okay? Uh, Virgo versus, not Virgo, Virgo, Pisces versus a Libra here with the devil card here and the queen of pentacles. Um, this is an individual that's incredibly toxic here. Okay. Just be careful of this individual because I feel like this person's really controlling. Okay. I do feel like if you're together with this person, this person controls your finances, this person controls where you go, this person controls who you talk to. Okay. Uh, Pisces versus a Scorpio here, seven of the pentacles here and the seven of cups. Um, this person's definitely in deep contemplation here. Um, I do feel like this person's trying to figure out whether they want to invest in you or not. Um, I also feel like this person's spending a lot of time in, in, in fantasy land. Yeah, this person daydreams a lot. Um, Pisces versus the Sagittarius, Four of Cups here, and the Queen of Wands or Aries, Legal Sagittarius. Why am I reading? Maybe, maybe this... Um, Sagittarius has multiple fire signs in their chart, uh, but um, this individual is in love with you. I do feel like this person is scared that you will reject them, okay? Uh, Pisces versus a Capricorn here with a King of Cups here and the Hangman here. I feel like this person's in love with you, but they're not taking any action here, okay? Uh, Pisces versus an Aquarius here with a Page of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. I feel like the only thing that this person can offer you right now is friendship, but I do feel like this person does enjoy hanging out with here with you. You could be, uh, this is, this could also be a coworker here too. Uh, Pisces versus a Pisces here, the Knight of Pentacles here, and Judgment here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's coming to a realization that they want to be with you here or that this person's coming in for some sort of reconciliation here, Pisces. Okay? Yeah, I, I feel like this person wants to tell you the truth about how they feel and I feel like this person's in love with you or that they miss you here. Okay? So, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.